kids. It's me, Dad. Today we are playing Space Cows and trying to uh, determine if it's worth the $1.99 it presently is on the eShop. Normally $8. So, yes, there is a lot of crude humor right now in this game. Uh, story so far. Yeah, basically, you play a farmer whose cow has been kidnapped. You dress up as a cow, get abducted by aliens, and it is up to you and your naked bottom with a plumber's helper to uh, free your bestie, Bessie. So... Uh, cows are just pandas with horns. Of course they are. So, what can we tell you about this game? Basically, a zero-gravity twin-stick shooter where you play a naked, obese farmer with a toilet plunger. Um, it's... It's an interesting take on um, twin sticks with, oh my god, those look like penises. Green, spongy penises. Kind of like something that you get after uh, one night in Bangkok. And no, I am not going to be singing that song. I don't sing. You know that. You've been around long enough. So, if we take a look at this. This is a one-player game rated teen. The file size is 1.1. Hey. Boo yeah. It's 1.1 gigabytes. There is this weird little mini game where you have to squirt the cow's udders. And he doesn't... She, sorry. If you're milking a cow, it's going to be a she. It's a, uh, <laughs> milk that bull, it'll be your friend for life. Um, but, that said, this is a budget title on the old Nintendo Switch. So, let's go on ahead and get into the review portion of it. Graphically, um... This has this cute kind of cartoony aesthetic with uh, crude humor built into it. Um, a lot of cow puns, but uh, we'll get to that. But so, yeah, uh, visually, the game is colorful, it's appealing. Um, the moo tints are, well, mutants and visually quite good um it's uh, graphically yeah i'm gonna give it an 18 out of uh, a possible a 20 there uh sound wise uh even though technically speaking um Especially since they've got the space helmet on the farmer, you shouldn't have any sound because, as aliens famously taught us, in space nobody can hear you scream. Oh, God, I hate these things. Um, took me forever to figure out that, yeah, those dome things, you actually have to hit their projectile with... Um, your plunger that bounces it back <coughs> and uh, does all the damage um, but yeah uh, the sound is uh, good uh, especially considering a lot of what you get at this sub ten dollar price range is always kind of the YouTube open source royalty free music best hits. Um, so we'll we'll give 
sound and music. A very solid 17, bringing us up to 35 uh, out of 40. Um, gameplay and mechanics. So, yes, you get uh, a lot of bad puns and dirty humor uh, right up kind of my alley um but uh you do basically wander around the maze it is not a metroidvania um you basically have one path that you take through the spaceship and that path is predetermined for you. Um, you would think it might get a little bit dull and repetitive. Um, it doesn't. It They definitely break it up. I, I mean, I'm going into a minigame right now, again, where, once again, you must milk the cow in the right direction. Um, so... Gameplay, we're going to give it uh, an 18. So if that gives us, we were at 35, 18, that brings us up to 53. Don't correct me if my math is wrong. And altogether, it's it's enjoyable. They mix it up. There's some homages to other games um, as well. Um, so controls. Uh, controls are a little finicky. Um, and, yeah, your character is floaty, but I guess that kind of works. He's in zero gravity. Uh, so, um, he goes where you tell him to. Oh, drat. Um, that is altogether one of controls. Tight. We'll go 18 again. Brings us up to 71, if my math in my head is correct. Uh, one of the big downfalls, though, is loading times. Uh, they seem excessive. Uh, maybe it's just me. But, yeah, it's... The loading times can get relatively long. So, now, let's talk overall value. Twin stick shooters are a dime a dozen on the Switch. Um, and this, I'm trying to figure out if this brings anything new to the mix outside of the crude sense of humor and the overall um, kind of aesthetic and... God, I cannot get over the fact that those just look like a limp willy floating in space. Um, so yeah, what do I think of the value? At a buck ninety nine, uh, I very much do think that this oh, this game does deliver on that value proposition for a nineteen. That brings us up to a 90. Now, if we were to take a look at the regular $7.99 price compared to other twin stick shooters on the console, we might be dipping down a little bit from that very high mark of 90, which puts it as an A. Um, at $8, I think there are better twin stick shooters available in that sub $10 range. 
uh, especially on sale uh, quite frequently. But it doesn't do a lot of damage to the overall value at $8. Uh, my rule of thumb is if I can get the cost to a dollar an hour, uh, I think that's a fantastic value. I'm not sure if this game has that potential at eight dollars um that said um i think it's a very very solid score hold on i've exceeded my footage um we're gonna give it a 15 which brings it down to 86 so 86 out of 100 is still a very good game, and I would recommend picking it up while it's on sale for $1.99 on the eShop. That said, sorry I am a day late with this review, but we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye So, here's a video and a subscribe link. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment, all that goodness. Thank you.